Coming up, one school counselor is fired for taking a stand against gender insanity. She joins us next. The left is living in an alternative reality, and they think our children are their children. There's no such thing as someone else's child. No such thing as someone else's child. Our nation's children are all our children. When you see our kids, and I truly believe that they are our children, they are the children of our country. These are kids. These are our kids. They belong to all of us. They won't stop until they make what's ours theirs. Just look at what's happening in Central Indiana High School, where the school had no problem with keeping parents in the dark about their children's gender dysphoria. The school called it a gender support plan. But there's nothing supportive about secretly encouraging confused, innocent children to transition genders and use cross-sex pronouns without telling their parents. And that's exactly what Pendleton Heights High School was doing. According to Kathy McCord, a former counselor at the school, staff was not required to tell parents if their precious children were transitioning or using cross-sex pronouns. And you can imagine the parents' reaction when they found out. Imagine my surprise and quite honestly my anger that the school would think that this would be a decision for them to make. We as parents are responsible for the mind, body, and spiritual stability of our children. There is no way that that should be taken from us as parents. Every single person here has lied to us parents who have children that we trust you with. I see my kid in there and I don't know what you're doing. I'm not in there, I trusted you. My trust is at zero. And that's half the parents in this community. You should be ashamed. Those are the thoughts of every loving parent. In fact, this Latina mom thinks they're being pretty calm compared to what I would do. We only know all of this because of that brave guidance counselor, Kathy McCord, who spoke out and leaked this story to the public. And she's alleging she was fired for speaking out. We reached out to South Madison, Indiana School Board, and we haven't heard back. But now Kathy McCord is suing them, and she joins us now, along with her attorney, Vincent Wagner. Great to have you both on the show. Kathy, I'm going to start with you. Why did you decide to leak this? Well, actually, when, it, when the, everything started with this new plan in the fall of 21, I was very much against it from the beginning because I just feel like schools and parents need to work together for the betterment of the kids. But I went along with it in the beginning. And then in the next year, a reporter approached me who had talked to some parents that found out about it and asked if I would be willing to sit down with him to confirm the things he had found out about this plan. And so I did that, and I honored, answered his questions honestly, which he pretty much knew everything about it at that point anyway. And in the next few weeks then, I was fired. So, Vincent, uh, the school says they fired Kathy because she gave misleading statements to the journalist, they say that she doctored the documents that had the policy on it. My producers looked at that document from December and said, it's exactly, exactly what she said. It's exactly the same document. She didn't doctor anything. That's exactly right. You've got it exactly right. Kathy gave truthful answers when the reporter approached her about this gender support plan policy and the school board had never approached the community with. No one in the community had been had been told about this policy before it was enacted, and they hadn't been given an opportunity to voice their concerns about it, which is what we just heard in the video from the school board meeting after they found out about it. You know, Kathy, if the school was proud of this policy, they'd be shouting it out loud. I mean, obviously, they're trying to keep this from the parents. What has been the reaction that you've gotten in your community um, from, uh, from the parents? Oh, the, the reaction was overwhelmingly unsupportive. I've, I've just been so humbled by it. They, they bought T-shirts that said, keep Kathy. They put signs in their yards, and they really pulled out everything they could to try to convince the school board that this policy was not right and that they were, you know, they were in the dark about it. And all I did was share that information with them. Kathy, how long have you been a teacher? A, I've actually a guidance been an educator, counselor? An educator? 25 years, yeah, 25 years as a counselor and 37 years in education. How does it make you feel? I mean, you, I mean, you've been in for a long time. I mean, when you first started, did you ever think that a school would be doing something like this, transitioning kids in secret without talking to kids? I mean, how far have we come? Oh, my goodness. Absolutely not. I would have never thought that. And, you know, the thing that goes back to even back years ago, the kids are going to do the best when their parents and the, and the, the 
parents and the school work together. And with all the problems that kids are going through now, that's ever more important than it probably ever has been. Yeah. Well, our country needs more teachers like you, Kathy. Kathy thank you. Vincent, thank you. Thank you for having us. Of course.